Hello, everyone, and welcome into another episode of the Big Blue News Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Beesmore, and if you're watching on YouTube, I am adding stuff to my background, so it's not as planned. Um, it's not as white, you know, I just added two pictures, but let's get into the, you know, game tonight. Sadly, this is like my first episode back in a long time in UK. They lost to Missouri 89 to 75, and what a disappointing game it was for UK. Um, they really showed no urgency the whole game. They looked lost on both the offense and defensive side, and before the game, you know, I had a sports article out warning Kentucky fans. Missouri, they love to shoot a lot of threes with their new head coach. Uh, they shot 25 threes tonight. They usually shoot 27 threes a night consistently, and they make usually about 10 threes. So, yes, they were on average. They made 10 threes tonight. Obviously, that's almost a third of their points. It was. They scored 89 points. Uh, 10 three-point, you know, shots went in, 30 points right there. So a third of their points came from the three-point line. And honestly, it was a disappointing loss for UK. Out of the four games uh, they've lost now in the season, UK, um, they've shown really, they've shown really uh, no urgency in three of the four games. Um, in the loss against Gonzaga, no urgency. In the loss against UCLA, they showed no urgency. And then Missouri. No urgency. And then the one loss that I think UK should have won was against Michigan State. Michigan State executed, of course, you know, in the last two overtimes. It went into a double overtime, and they executed towards the end. Oscar Sheebway fouled out that game. And the only really great win UK has currently is against Michigan, and that was in London. So does that game really count? So right now, they are one and four on the season or against really great quality opponents. And right now, like I said, UK is eight and four. Missouri is 12 and one. Missouri will be for sure ranked after this week is over. UK, I would not be surprised if they fall out of the top 25, even if they uh, blow out Lou on Saturday. So in my opinion, UK, they move out of the top 25 after this week. They were ranked 19th, so I would not be surprised if they fall seven spots out of the top 25. And right now, I'm just nervous about UK. They have no consistent rotation going on right now. And we're over a third of the way done with the season. Usually, a uh, season is typically 31 games um, before going to the SEC tournament, before going to the conference tournament. So right now, 12 games into the 30. 30- 12 games into a 31-game season, you know, before the tournament begins, and no consistent rotation whatsoever. I'm nervous about that because the only two players that, you know, they've been very bright the whole time has been Case and Wallace, and then also Lanceware coming off the bench. And obviously, the Lanceware and Oscar Shibway duo, it works great on offense, you know. Uh, with trying to score uh, in the post or getting rebounds. But defensively, it doesn't work great. Uh, They can't guard, you know, the ball handlers on the perimeter. Kobe Brown uh, for Missouri, he had another great game, back-to-back 30-point games. He had 30 uh, tonight against UK. He had 31 against Illinois. And I remember one possession, Oscar Shibway was so afraid to guard him. He backed off. He shot a three and then made the shot, and UK, right now, they're just struggling to make uh, three-point shots uh, right now. Uh, they shot 8 for 23 tonight, so so not too bad. Obviously, they shot a little bit over 33%. Obviously, you want to see, you know, 10 made threes like Missouri did tonight, and the problem is, Missouri, they love to run in transition, uh, UK had tonight 14 turnovers, and I think the big play in the second half, UK was, of course, already down by big. I think they were down still by 12 points, but I think the biggest play that led to, you know, Missouri finally blowing it out, and obviously UK got it closer. They lost by 14 uh, points, you know, in total, so Missouri outscored UK by two points in the second half, but the big play that led to Missouri, you know, getting a wider lead was whenever they ran a zone, Missouri did, 
they got the ball into the middle with Lance Square, and then he just lost control of the ball, and Missouri got the uh, ball. I don't know if they made a three or a two. I think it was a three, and then that just led the game to, you know, Missouri. It was all Missouri. They got up to, what, 20 points at one point, and honestly, UK, they need to find a consistent rotation, and I would love to see at one point to see Kaysen run the point, Reeves at the two, Abdu Tierro at the three, Chris Livingston at the four, and Oscar Sheeway at the five. And I think the main problem right now for UK is they just can't keep a consistent rotation. You have at points where uh, Kaysen Wallace is running point. Then you move him to the two. And then you have Antonio Reeves, who plays for a little bit. And then you bring in C.J. Frederick. And, I'm like, the shooters can't get into a consistent, you know, touch right now with shooting. Because if you play playing for two, three, you know, maybe four minutes at a time, they're obviously not going to be a consistent shooter out there. And I think that's the problem with Antonio Reeves and uh, C.J. Frederick. Obviously, C.J. Frederick got injured about halfway through the first half. Didn't come back. He was ruled out with a thumb injury, I believe. So, right now, I think Coach Cow, he has to just allow certain players play longer minutes, whether that be Xavier running the point, then Kaysen at the two, uh, Reeves at the three, uh, Lance Square at the, or not Lance Square, but uh, Jacob Toppin at the four, and Oscar Sheeway at the five. I mean, like I said, the Lance Square and Oscar Sheeway, I mean, it's not bad, but obviously in today's NBA, you need to space the floor and have great pace as well. So, uh, obviously, having the two on the floor at the same time, you can't space the floor out. Two non-shooters. And like I said, I wouldn't mind seeing Coach Cowan just run one po- at one point. Kaysen, like I said, at the point guard position. Uh, Reeves at the two. Tierro at the three. Uh, the four. Chris Livingston at five. Oscar Sheepway. And let's talk a little bit more about the game. I mean, to be fair, Oscar Shibwe, he didn't have a bad game at all. He had 23 points and 18 rebounds. But he also had three turnovers. UK in total had 14 turnovers. So he had a little bit of uh, of 20% of UK's turnovers uh, for uh, Oscar Shibwe. And like I said, the two main players that really stuck out to me that had a great game uh, they were Oscar Shibwe and then Case and Wallace. And I hope UK can figure it out because how do you play so bad with the National Player of the Year returning and then a star freshman in Case and Wallace? He's playing, you know, his mind out consistently each night. And he's the only player that's been consistently playing very well uh, for UK. And a true freshman shouldn't have to be playing this great the leaders should be uh, doing a lot better, such as Xavier Wheeler. He should be a leader. He's a senior this year, but he's not doing very well. Antonio Reeves, he's a you know senior. He should be a leader because he's has he has so much experience. And right now, it's not going very well with the veterans on the team. And I saw a tweet tonight. I actually tweeted tweeted it out or retweeted the tweet, but. Coach Cal said back in 2017, I believe it was right after the loss to UNC in the Elite Eight. Um, right after that loss, Coach Cal tweeted out saying that he would rather have uh, talented players over experienced players every single time. And right now, UK, they have a lot of experienced players, but where's the talent at? I mean, yeah, you grabbed Xavier Wheeler from Georgia. You grabbed Oscar Sheeway from West Virginia, but a lot of people, you know, complained at Coach Cal for getting one and done, you know, but they were super talented, led to led UK to at least, you know, an elite eight. It felt like every year, Final Four uh, each year. I mean, the last time UK was in a, uh, was in the Final Four was obviously 2014, 2015 season. And then the last time UK was in the elite eight, was the 2018-2019 season where they eventually lost to Auburn. Auburn eventually lost to Virginia in the Final Four. Uh, But UK, in my opinion, they should have at least gone to the Final Four that year. Uh, I felt like UK just 
you know, screwed around at the end and caused, you know, UK to lose in the Elite Eight to Auburn. But enough talk about that. Um, hopefully with next year's team coming in, obviously you have great players with Rob Dillingham, DJ Wagner, Justin Edwards all coming in, Reed Shepard. Um, I could go on and on about next year's recru- recruiting class, but hopefully next year with bringing in the new freshman, Coach Cal can actually do something. Uh, like I said, UK is struggling this year. They need to find a consistent rotation. Who knows how long CJ Frederick will be out. Uh, hopefully he's not out for long because UK, they need another shooter. And maybe we'll run two shooters at a time with CJ Frederick and Antonio Reeves playing. <laughs> but I know I'm just ranting about UK. I'm just nervous right now because... UK, they are now 0-1 in the SEC play. Uh, They need to play a lot better. They need to have a sense of urgency because right now, 8-4, and four, it's not ideal uh, to start out the season. Uh, there's no team that UK should overlook currently, even with Louisville on Saturday. They should not overlook the Cardinals at all. Granted, UK should win. But if they don't, I think a lot of people will say Coach Cal will need to be fired. A lot of people are saying that currently. Um, but like I said, just a lot of players, they need to step up. Players need to start making their threes, making layups, floaters. And I think the problem was at times Missouri, whenever they ran their uh, full court press or half court press, however you want to call it, uh, we really went quick for uh, getting a jump shot, you know. Uh, we we were probably only using 10 seconds of the shot clock. I remember one time, Jacob Toppin got the ball, and he did a floater uh, once he got the ball in the paint, and he missed, led to Missouri, you know, making a field goal on the other end. And I feel like the problem is UK is consistently either rushing to get a jump shot in their games or they're running their stagnant offense not leading to players getting wide open for shots. And UK, they have to figure out a way to call, you know, better offensive plays for shooters to get open. Uh, Case and Wallace, he went crazy tonight with shooting threes. He shot 13 threes uh, for UK, 13 out of the 23 uh, three-point attempts that UK had. So uh, he did all right, five for 13. Obviously, uh, some of his... Threes, I thought, no, don't shoot that. And I think the only reason why he was shooting some of the shots that he shot was because UK, they were down the whole game. And like I said, they got it down to 14. Missouri still outscored UK by two points in the second half. But I don't know. It's it's very hard right now to be a UK fan. Hopefully UK, like I can like I said, can win on Saturday against Louisville. And then also UK can win their bowl game against Iowa, and it'll be a great Saturday, a great New Year's Eve for everyone, and hopefully we'll have something looking forward to uh, for next year, you know, in 2023 with UK basketball, but that's all I have from tonight's podcast. I just hope, you know, Coach Cal can actually start calling plays, um, getting the shooters open. Hopefully, the shooters can actually start making their shots. Hopefully, like I said, CJ Frederick uh, won't be out for a while, but shooters, they need to start making their shots for sure. And Oscar Shibwe, whenever he gets the ball in the post, he has to figure out how to pass. Uh, another problem I saw with Oscar is every time he got a rebound, he brought the ball down, which led to, you know, turnovers. I'm like, you can't be doing that. Uh, you've been taught that, you know, since grade school, whenever you get a rebound, do not go back down with it. That's one thing he definitely needs to improve on. But in my opinion, he also needs to figure out how to find a wide open man whenever he's getting doubled or triple teamed because whenever that happens, somebody has to be open. And whether that be a player cut, you know, baseline, then so be it. But like I said, Oscar played great. So did Kaysen. Hopefully other players can step up. I'm just nervous right now for the season. UK is 8-4 and four on the year, but I think UK and Coach Cal will figure out a way to figure out um, towards the end of the year, and hopefully UK can make a deep run in the NCAA tournament along with winning the NCAA tournament and also 
the SEC championship. But that's all I have for tonight's uh, podcast. Hopefully, UK will be, you know, better against Louisville and they'll blow out Kenny Payne and the Cardinals. But thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a great night and I'll be back with another podcast very soon.